What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today we're doing a deck profile. Locals is about to start but just before Locals starts uh, I want to show you guys a quick deck profile all right. So uh, it, it's Cyber Dragon. Um, it's something that I haven't done on the channel in some time but it's something that I really wanted to show off because I think it's actually low-key really good in today's format um, especially against Kostra. So this deck uh, just side note or to begin the video uh, is built to beat Kostra and built to beat like branded Despia right. So the meta okay. So yeah that's it. So we're playing three Cyber Dragon of course because it's an OTK build playing three core uh three hers um these are our cyber dragon cards as well as our one master um i wouldn't change these ratios up at all you really need to see uh one of the babies so i'm gonna call these the babies right you really want to see one of these babies this guy's a good extender i, I side him out a lot but um he's a good extender when you have your combo already set up right so that's it for the cyber dragon names and then for the non cyber dragon names that's kind of a cyber dragon it's two galaxy soldier um funny enough this card is really good but because we're going second now i uh think that this card just being able to make infinity so that you don't lose the cards like um you know nibiru or any of those very prominent cards if you start your combo off with something like a galaxy soldier you can like bait out hand traps bait out all that stuff and then do your cyber dragon plays afterwards so i still really like the two galaxy soldier um and that's it really for the cyber dragon monsters i'm gonna count galaxy soldier there um, and I'll go into my hand traps and all that stuff later, but for the Cyber Dragon Monsters, that's it. Uh, we're playing three Machine Dupe, of course, uh, because this is an OTK build and it's not a once per turn. So if your opponent goes like, or if you go, let's say, summon hers, activate Machine Dupe, they go Ash, you activate the second one, so it's really broken. So uh, you can't not play this, it helps you OTK through everything. If you open this and a baby name resolves, you're pretty much winning every game. Uh, three Cyber Emergency, of course, searches anything in your deck, as well as one Repair Plant. And then we're playing the one Cyber Low Fusion. This card is just your OTK card. It's absolutely insane. I think these are pretty standard uh, ratios, as well as the one cyber rev system so uh these are your this is like the best cyber dragon spell trap um i wish it was searchable it's not but you know uh maybe we play thrust actually in the future i don't know but this card is absolutely insane so uh that's it for the spells and then um for the other cyber dragon spell that i kind of want to talk about a lot is three clockwork night so this card is absolutely insane so essentially it makes everything on your opponent's side of the field machine so the really cool thing about that is that against uh dragon link uh, you can point to cody over here um, so when you're playing Dragon Link or any of those kind of decks, um, later bro, later, sorry. Uh, essentially it, it locks them out of like doing a lot of different kinds of things. So uh, it's one of those things where it's like against Rogue, it's randomly really good. Um, but against the meta, why it's really good is because you really want to be able to go second. And if you open a Clockwork Knight plus like any Cyber Dragon card, you can contact fuse the entire board away. Now you guys might be wondering, uh, what do I do against a Rise Heart? Because a Rise Heart makes it so that I can't contact you. Aha! But you play a lot of board breakers. So we're maxing out on board breakers. We're playing three GZQ. I know this is wild, but three Kaijus. It's a light also that you can pitch off Galaxy Soldier. So it's absolutely insane. It's also a machine. So you Kaiju your opponent, you can contact fuse. Absolutely insane, right? This plus, okay, so let's say you're going against a cash player and their typical board is like a Shangri-La plus like a Rise Heart, right? Like just at a minimum, right? If you just go this over the Rise Heart, activate your net, Knight, and then if you just normal summon like a, a, a hers, you essentially break their entire board at a minimum, right? And then obviously if you can keep going, you can keep going, but th that's just what's insane about this deck. So that's why you're playing three of the, all like the most important cards. Uh, so three Jizukiru to beat that Rise Heart, three Ash, three nibs so that they don't even get to an RI's heart you know if you can stop their combos then it's even better for you but you know if you can't stop their combos and this breaks a board this stops them from making a board and then another card that stops your opponent from making a board is three imperm i think this card is really good against uh, a lot of different decks it's really good into sword soul really good into kosh really good into branded really good into any of the meta decks right so uh, all the hand traps are here and then these are the board breakers speaking of board breakers we're playing more we're playing three dark hole um so i would rather play regeki but i think you have to play dark hole right now just because if you you get hit with uh corruptor ibli and hyper corruptor ibli um you're done like this deck struggles if you get hit with an ibli so you really need the dark hole to get rid of the ibli um other than that though i preferred regeki but just right now you can't i didn't like i don't think you're actually gonna see ibli as much as people think you are but just in case right it always never hurts and then we're playing the one harpy's feather duster um you are playing an otk deck if you ever play against labyrinth or any back row decks this is very relevant so uh that's it for the main deck it's 40 cards on the main in the main deck i should say um i don't think i changed anything up so it's really powerful and uh for anyone who's going to ask i'm not playing pros menu obviously because i want otk so um that's why we're not playing the draw power i consider playing desires because we're playing three of all the important cards anyways so maybe desires comes in here but for right now i don't think you need it 
So for the extra deck, I should say, let me go with the extra deck. Uh, we're playing the one Seeger. I know it can get ripped out, but you only ever need the one. You rarely go into it. You can honestly OTK your opponent without this a lot of times. So just the one, one Almirage, one Anima. This is insane, bro. If you Kaiju your opponent, so not just against Kostra, but against any deck. If you Kaiju your opponent, you want to put it in the extra monster zone or under the extra monster zone. Because you can go normal summon hers, make Anima, and now, now you take this back. So now you don't even have to contact use and lose the hers. Because then you can go hers, activate machine dupe, and do all that stuff. And then this gains the attack of this. So this becomes 3300. So Anima's insane, obviously. And if people don't play around it, it's even better. Because sometimes if they don't play around it, you can just Anima their own monster. So it's crazy. One Link Rebo, again, for the Ibli. You don't want to lose to Ibli. So that's it for the Link monsters. For the Ixies monsters, we're playing two Infinity as well as two Nova. Uh, this is pretty standard. I really want to play two and two because uh, this you don't want to get extra deck ripped. Unlike this other stuff, you don't really care about this stuff as much. This stuff you don't want to get ripped. So uh, two and two for sure. And then with the one Zeus, um, this card is bait. Um, so my opponent, if you ever go against Kosh, they're always going to try to rip this because they don't want it, this to resolve or you, they want you to be able to summon this. But you don't care if they rip this. Like this does not matter at all. So uh, that's why I like playing the one because I want them to rip it. Uh, then we're playing two of this and two of this, just board breakers. A lot of the time people summon the Shangri-La in the extra monster zone. So if they don't have an Arise Heart, you can just out the Shangri-La with this. That's really nice. And then lastly for the fusions, we're playing the two Rampage Dragon. Uh, you don't want it to get ripped either. And uh, this is just your OTK card. So that's it for the main deck and uh, the extra deck. I think it's very consistent. I think it's very, very powerful. Let me show you guys a quick... Uh, I'll show you guys a side deck. Why not? Since Logo's about to start. We're playing three Lightning Storm. Of course, against any backward decks, you really want to be playing this. Uh, I'm not playing evenly because uh, you want to OTK, like I said, right? So we're not playing evenly. Uh, I'm trying this, but honestly, I'm not a big fan of this. The reason for that is because, yes, it breaks your opponent's boards, especially against Kostura. But the problem with this is that if you flip everything in face down defense, it kind of is like counterintuitive with like your Clockwork Knight um, and then like all the, these plays because this doesn't do anything if you're flipping everything face down, right? So this is just really good where it's like if you're trying to break boards, but it's actually, you know, it's something that I might consider cutting. I'm just playing it for today's locals. Um, but again, build your side deck. Look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. Build your side deck for your locals. If your locals is all cash, build your side deck to beat cash. If your locals is all trap-based decks or branded, build your side deck to beat that. Uh, my locals is typically a little bit of everything. So in my side deck, you guys are gonna see a little bit of everything. So yeah, this is for the board breaker cards. And then my opponents, I know are gonna make me go first. So we're playing three rivalry. This works really well with Clockwork Knight as well. If you have Clockwork and activate this, then uh, essentially they're locked into machines as soon as they have one monster. Uh, three of this for Kashtara, but funny enough, it can come up against other decks as well. And then three Judgment. So these are the nine cards. If I think I'm going to go first, or my, I think my opponent's going to make me go first, then I just side these nine in, and then I take out nine of the hand traps, and it's absolutely insane. So um, that's it for the deck. Um, we have Locals, which is about to start, so we'll see how we do at the Locals. Hopefully we play against Meta. This deck is meant to beat Meta, so uh, hopefully we don't play a lot of Rogue decks. Um, although, in theory, it should be doing pretty well against Rogue as well. But yeah, uh, that's really all I gotta say. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys did enjoy. Thank you guys all for watching, and with that, thank you. I don't know. Jeez.